Hello, Leo. This is High Priestess Jamila. Merry Christmas to all of the Leos out there. I am here to do your new moon psychic reading for the last new moon of the year, December the 26th. So welcome to the channel. Happy winter solstice to you guys. Uh, my voice is a little scruffy today. <laughs> anyway, if you guys need private readings, I am open on Christmas the day after and all the way to the day after New Year's. Okay, so I am open every holiday. If you guys need a psychic reading, the link to my website is below. And let's go ahead and get started. So the new moon is a really good opportunity to bring in new energy. Okay, now keep in mind, we've been in the new moon for the past couple of days. But tomorrow is the official new moon in Capricorn. So let's see what you guys got going on. Okay, Leo, make sure that y'all hit that subscribe button. And I would appreciate a thumbs up. All right, spirit guides, ancestors, guardian angels, ascended masters for the Leo sun, moon, rising in Venus. What are you seeing for the new moon energies? For the Leos, okay. All right, so Leo, no major arcanas, which I'm surprised, but you guys did get the two of swords. So you guys are making some really important decisions right now, probably having to do with a relationship. Should you go? Should you stay? Um, the next card is the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So some of you may be feeling a little stuck creatively. You may be feeling stuck financially. Okay. Then you also got nine of swords. Ooh, not good. Uh, this could represent um, an imbalanced crown chakra, an imbalanced third eye chakra, an imbalanced heart chakra. Okay. So I feel like a lot of you guys going up to the new moon, you guys have been sort of a little antsy about a decision that you're supposed to make. Okay. And it seems like to me that you guys are searching for answers. Um, I feel like what, I mean, the truth is right there in your face as far as what you need to know about this situation in particular, if you are trying to leave a air sign in particular, or you're trying to walk away from them in some kind of way, they seem to be um, throwing some negative energy at you, um, or it could be an earth sign person. You know, you can't really control other people's perception of you, other people's thought processes of you. What you have to do is not let that affect you. So there's definitely something that has to do with your money that you guys are not seeing because things are kind of shady. Things are kind of dim right now. Now, your final card is the Knight of Cups. So the Knight of Cups is pretty good. That lets you know that a spirit guide is coming to help. Um, I do see your spirits coming to help you with whatever the situation is. Um, however, some of you could be close to a nervous breakdown, um, especially with this Ace of Pentacles being in the reverse position. Uh, there may be some sort of financial difficulty that could be happening right now for the Leos. Spirit clarify Knight of Pentacles, or it could be a creative block um, to where, you know, you could be distracted. You could be not paying attention. Yeah, the Five of Cups comes up. So I feel like a lot of you guys, um, it's sort of like an emotional blockage, but it's more so of a vex. Okay, seems like um, a lot of you guys need to either look at your mother or you need to look at this page of swords, which I already saw it was an air sign. Definitely can see some negative subconscious blockages. 
um, things that you need to clear. So what the Knight of Cups is saying is for a lot of you Leos to do is cleanses. Um, I was actually just thinking today I'm going to do a cleanse on myself. So do your cleanses, you know, um, and you guys will be okay. Now, the Knight of Cups is bringing you something. This is energy that's coming towards you. Uh, but he is telling you to cleanse yourself. He's telling you to call in the energies of tranquility and peace. Uh, these things are going to do you some good because once you get to that place, you will be much more positive. Your thought processes will be much more positive. Okay. Um, you're just burying, you're, you're burying, you're burying yourself in this anger. There seems to be some resentment, some regret, some sadness, um, maybe even some negative memories for this time of the year. Okay. Spirits clarify Knight of Cups. Um, the world card comes up. So the world card represents everything being the way it should. Everything is in balance. Okay. You feel complete. Also, the world card is representing closure. Um, not just doing your cleansing rituals and work, but doing, getting closure, writing it down, saying, I am getting closure on this situation. Make sure that you use those words because those energies are going to create a positive domino effect in yourself which is going to create a positive domino effect in your life. The nine of swords can represent being currently negatively affected by negative seeds that were put down. That ace of pentacles is a negative seed that was laid. Like I said, it could be by anybody. It could be by this air sign. It could be by an earth sign. It could be a water sign. Uh, two of swords comes up representing, okay, you know what, Leo, it's time for you to do what? Get yourself some clarity. Okay. Um, instead of being on under this, but I feel like it's a, like a dark, it is a dark cloud, but it's, it seems like it's, it's temporary. Like I said, I do feel like the new moon is going to bring new inspiration, but you, you got to do the work. So if you guys don't know how to do that work, you guys can contact me. Um, I feel like also something to do with a mother's curse on a lot of you guys, whether or not you're male or female. So if you guys need to reach me for that, I do spiritual work for people. I do offer cleanses, unblockings, you know, uh, closure spells for you to get closure, uh, which will create positive effects in your life. So if you guys need to reach me, the link to my website is below as well as other contact info. Make sure that you guys try to have a very Merry Christmas. I can see things are rough for you guys. Um, love and light to you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.